And so we carry on, on to round three, game two. So off the back of that silly Hyperdriver DDoS win, we swap sides. So we have myself on the right with my Jinteki Harmony Medtech. Yeah, an oddness that. deck. Uh, first to uh, six points instead is the ID ability. And we have Alec on the left with his runner Edward Kim, which is trash the first operation you access each turn. Which uh, seems seems powerful, but not very popular. And I guess especially in the, the current legit meta, this is of course a uh, junk tournament of random net. In a legit meta, the we're seeing a lot of corpse doing a lot of uh, sort of asset spam kind of stuff, um, even even with the prevalence of wizards. So uh, Ed Kim has definitely not seen much play, but here he might have a chance to sh chance to shine. Uh, so I'm um, icing up R and D, dropping the hedge fund, and I think just taking another credit. So it puts me on a ten, leaving HQ wide open. So worth a look just to see if you can hit an operation, see if you can trigger Ed Kim's ability. It's a pup. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, an imp. Okay, so probably expecting a trash film. And yeah, last click is going in again. Uh, sees the news team. Brilliant. So would you like two tags, sir, or minus one agenda point? <clears throat> For those that haven't seen earlier videos, uh, my the jank of my deck is uh, to try and kill the runner with Philotic using a 24/7 to trigger it again. Uh, you know, two, two, I think uh, I only have 22 24/7s. Only my tech only has 12 influence. Uh, so yeah, Alex opting for the two tags. Um, so outside of the minus one agenda point, I don't actually have any sort of real tag punishment. So, uh, so I'm just going to purge. That's uh, nothing in hand. I feel too worried about. I may have one agenda, but uh, I see a vigil in hand and uh, incubate. So. And a demo run as well, so... <laughs> so. Yep, so HQ, seeing trigger Ed Kim's. Hits that pub again. Yep, yep. So I think uh, if he's so interested in the hand, he might uh, just pop the pub on the on HQ. Just to try and tax him out. Uh, click him for some credits and grabbing a card. And last click, and he's dropping his console vigil, um, which is pretty neat actually. So if, if the start of the runner's turn, the corp has is at their full hand size, uh, you get a free draw, which seems pretty good. But I guess other run out consoles are quote unquote better. Okay, starting a remote, installing a card, and. <laughs> pointing out that I have four cards in hand, so I'm trying to deny as many visual triggers as I can. Although, shouldn't really aim for it, but it's a, it's a, it's a nice plus. And again, leaving HQ open, so... Yeah, it makes sense. So you can get a free Ed Kim access. And that's a shock! Mm, so it might, might suggest that I've got a, a snare in hand. So yeah, you, you'll pay to trash it and uh, do one net damage. And uh, knifed. Okay, so yeah, this is very much a uh, ice destruction deck. Possibly uh, inspired by the uh, the one on feast, a kind of precursor to the horrible Dumblefork wizard deck. So it came with all the trashing. He trashes operations, he's got imp, and uh, and then possibly we've got scrubbers. Uh, yep, so he pulls a house of knives from hand. And there's the pup. So probably house of knives was the only agenda in hand. So I don't know if I put, I put maybe the snare in the remote and bait the run. No, looks like 
had one there, so yeah, obviously it felt a bit flooded, so I think I had to push uh, for the score. And yeah, now I have a House of Knives scored, which is very nice. Drawing. Ah, okay. So gain credit clear attack, which kind of suggests that he has some resources he'd like to drop. I think we've got two test runs there as well. It's interesting. Um, to Scarlet and the Cyber Beater. So, over to the Corp. Still happy to give those HQ accesses away. Is it worth a cheeky pub? He's low on money. So, I think uh, that was a draw, install, and take a credit. Uh, yeah, so he's gained, gained, and then played one to Demeron. And uh, yeah, Demeron means that's trashed, even if it's not possible. So Susan in the bin. Uh, I think I have two Susans in the deck. And uh, yeah, hit the pub. <laughs> and he says, yeah, that's what he's aiming for for the demo run. Get rid of that pup. Surely it must be time to uh, put the pup on HQ. And, ah, so it's mental health. Come on, man. Say to myself, get the pup on... And yeah, he says it's probably going to be Pup. Yeah, I'd like it to be Pup. It might be something different. I think it might possibly might be a back over. To... And uh, yeah, I have left myself with five cards in hand, which means Alec gets the free draw. So, two credits, drops the tag, and uh, I think there was another draw as well. So, over to me. So looking all right. He's a bit broke now and not got much board built up. I'm slowly in the central, so it's looking okay. Drawing. Install. Uh, so that surely has to be another mental health. Or maybe as a test, a shock or a snare. That's it, yeah. So credit, credit, KT, click KT. So now the tag's gone. And hit KT. Maybe it would have been better just to take the minus one point. I'm not sure. So I had a look at the new remote, but obviously not too interested. Uh, that's another new remote. Fans of fans. And yep, clone retirement. So sticking to the game plan. If I have clone retirement in hand, just try and score it. So up to two points versus Alex one. Uh, he's going to click Katie. He's now got six on. Okay. And we've got an I've had worse in hand. Two test runs. Interesting choice. Uh, Lamprey. Ah, so he would have loved to have had that earlier on when he was getting all those HQ accesses for free. Install. And uh, that's Jackson. Okay. Shiny promo Jackson. Uh, so maybe I'm a little flooded. I think I saw a Lotus Field in the hand there. Maybe we've got a drawn into a future perfect. Which... So yeah, install Jackson. Quick Jackson with two cards. And a hedge fund just for more money. So I have lots, lots of cash now. And yep, another vigil trigger. Very nice. So, yeah, just shaped my hand a little, so probably just discarded the future perfects and 
not really in a position to score. It's usually the last one this deck tries to score if the kill is not on the cards. Corroda, uh, okay, so slowly building. This could be optimum time to try and push out another one. Because he felt like the Jackson install was better. But I think now is time to develop that mental health clinic remote. I can't really see my hand, so it might not be possible. Ah, okay, yep, so in protecting HQ, protecting the remote, taking the credits, so... <clears throat> and, uh, yep, install two cards, which means vigil no vigil trigger this turn. Very nice. Uh, taking off Katie for nine credits, I believe. So a nice, nice bit of money there now. He's drawing. Deja vu. I think that's the same old thing. Yep. Again, the test runs. So he hasn't been, up until now, he really hasn't been in a position to pay for them and get their use. Obviously, after, when the turn ends, they get back on the top of his deck, which, if he can get the vigil draw, means he doesn't have to spend a click to redraw them. So there's, there's some, yeah, thinking through, there's some nice potential there. Um, install and yep, yeah, stick to the game plan. Another clone retirement. Let's score it, uh, and that takes you up to three points. We're halfway there, guys. I don't think he's run since. I've, uh, I still have the three counters on House of Knives. I would definitely like to ping him. I want to say I must have a Kamainu on the on the board now. It's like Kamainu into House of Knives is uh, if they're not prepared. It's insta death. Uh, so yeah, he's playing the test run. <coughs> and there's, yeah, there's Mimic on the bottom, but he's not interested in that. He's test running the Fem. All oh, right. So yeah, good, good test run target. See Fem costing nine only, and uh, yeah, so he's going to Fem the outermost ice on protecting HQ. So let's click one. Yeah, I'm just going to swap to the other Team Covenant power token. Let's have a quick check. Don't think he's... Don't think he's hit the Kamainu, which would be very sad. And what I generally like to do when people fem pieces of ice is let them have it, and then uh, it's all over. So he's running. Uh, before he gets the ice, I'm going to zap him for one. Get the incubator. And I don't think I'm going to res, because... Probably going to cost me more, and uh, yep, there's the pup. Two. Uh, so I lose one thanks to Lamprey, and he gets an access. And it's a future perfect. Woof. Okay. Okay, time for the side game. Uh, so I've got plenty of money, so I feel quite good. Uh, and yeah, we both both pay one, so he he scores the future perfect to take him up to four points. And actually, with the fem, I don't need to worry about storming over the ice because the fem will bounce back to hand, well, back to the top of his deck. He's going again. He suggests you know feels like there might be more scores there. Uh, I'll zap him again for the house of knives. Zap a, a test run. He's paying two for pop. And fast track. And yeah, Edward Kim will, will send that straight to archives. Yeah, so the fast track in there to grab the Philotic so that I can score it. Else the Philotic game plan is all over if the runner sees that card first. <coughs> and uh, yeah, he's just taking Katie. And uh, yep, yeah, the Femme. As I'm eager to point out, bounces back to the top of his deck. Oh, yeah, and uh, yeah, the mental health clinic that came in should have been lost to the Lamprey in that second access. Yeah, which we just rectified. Okay, so 
now he's at four points. He's potentially at game point now, which is uh, so Jackson. So I don't know if I'm feeling a little flooded. I'm just looking for some answers. So install a new remote there and take him one. And four in hand after he uh, pickpocketed my uh, HQ a few times. So no vigil draw. So click one, he has to he draws and draws into Fem. So you might be seeing the Fem a little later. One and he's playing one for humanity first. So when uh, the corpse scores an agenda, you gain credits equal to the number of points. So yeah, well, this is a jank tawny. This uh, so he's got potential for, to get a couple of credits from that, uh, especially if he's got more than one, which would be very nice. Okay, so what was that remote over there? Installing over R&D, so that's probably signalling that I've got nothing um, in hand. And yeah, medical fund researcher, so I gain five. Alec gains three for science. Okay, drawing, and I think that's a... Uh, is that woman in the red dress? Or is, no, it's Zoo. Got my, heart, my hopes up there a little. <coughs> ah, yes, yeah, so we just missed the vigil draw, so yeah, he's going to grab that because he did for a click. Uh, he's drawn into a short gamble, which is pretty ideal, so he'll play that out. Possibly just a clicking of KT final click. Wouldn't be terrible. Just having a look, or he would same old thing, or maybe test run. But he's only got one click left, so surely, surely Katie is there. Oh, okay, and he's actually going to clear Katie to power up next time. So probably expecting the fam if we're paying attention. Install new remote and true to plan, that is the third clone retirement. And Alec gains a credit for that. And yeah, I am at five, so a free draw as well. So score that, so that take me up to four points as well. So it's four all. And uh, the Harmony Medtech, it is a 40 card minimum deck, so it's a bit smaller and that. Uh, Deck is looking a bit small. Yeah, he, uh, Alec plays the Femme again on the same piece of ice uh, and then runs HQ. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but uh, I'm probably going to aim to install over it to remove the Femme counter. Don't want to tax him. Uh, I won't raise the ice, but I will ping him with the House of Knives just to put a bit of pressure on. I don't know if there's any snares in my hand, but. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's hit the zoo, which is quite good. Uh, it continues. He pays two for the pup. I lose one thanks to Lamprey, and he gets an excess. And it's another pup. <laughs> Might be seeing that very soon. Good old pup. That's right. Puts in work. Surprisingly strong, for the cost, of course. <laughs> so, Femme, a run on HQ. It's drawing, click free. I think he's just drawn into the medium. That is interesting. So, perhaps the focus will change the R&D. Uh, and he's going in again, HQ. Pays through the pub, I lose one. And uh, I believe that's the backup. No, it's, not. <laughs> it's not pub. It's not pub. So, one of the mental health. 
draw, and yeah, look, we've got to install over that HQ ice. I'm happy to nullify the FEM token. So yeah, here we go. Probably putting the pup, or possibly the backo. The backo probably makes no sense with Kroda, so I think the pup is suitably taxing enough. Uh, drawing. And I haven't seen any shell corpse this game, so... Uh, perhaps we've got one in one of the remotes over there. Uh, last click I play a hedge fund. Keep my money up, so I managed to... Uh, make a nice bit of money, although not... I've only actually rezzed uh, the pups. So. Alex has been fine leaving the mental health clinic to tick over. It's been keeping me afloat. Uh, so he's deja vuing the zoo. And then installing the zoo. So that definitely suggests that is his only Colgate breaker. Uh, clicking Katie and a credit. So he's low on funds. Surely now's the time to push. We could do Katie, so we could get up to four. Yeah, so we're going for it. So the mental health, we're installing over that, so that has to be another asset or agenda, but pretty sure it's an agenda, and I'm, I believe that is the fetal, the, uh, the one of surprise agenda I've got, so, and myself being on four points, I'm trying to, I'm going for the win. I think I've got a Lotus Field on the remote, and I don't know if I have Susan. Susan would be ideal. Yeah, so Alex going to have a bit of thinking. Possibly fears. Maybe it is, it is a future perfect. In which case, an install of Vance Vance means it's definitely at least a two-pointer. Uh, so he's click, he's taking the KT. Stop my shuffling. I think for a moment, maybe he could do it. So he's going credit, credit, and a run last click. Which seems good. So, yeah, I'm going to spend five for the Lotus Field. So with the Zoo, that will cost four. Uh, he's got two credits left. Uh, so I'm going to pay two for a backhoe. Oh, uh, not great. Uh, he pays one cr with Croda. Goes for access. And it's a fetal. And he needs two to steal. And he only has one. He only has one. <laughs> It was close. I saw him with one credit, and uh, I thought there's, the, there's not going to be a way of uh, you can get in. But Katie and credit, credit, it's like you can get in. But luckily, there was no no means like a, a maybe a dirty laundry onto archives first. So Katie, dirty laundry, and uh, then he would have def definitely got it. So uh, yeah. Uh, he passes the turn after the I've words, but I'll spend it to advance, 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 and score the fetal um, for the six points. Pretty tense, a pretty tense one. It was a bit of a, a slow burn. Ed, um, Ed Kim didn't do too much, but there was a lot of HQ pressure early on, but I managed to weather that. Uh, stick to the game plan of scoring out the clone retirements as soon as I saw him. Um, yes, yeah, so that's... Uh, Another win, and uh, yeah, looking good for Harmony Medtech. Uh, after round three, it's 1-2, uh, and lost one. So, uh, just the final round to go, and uh, there's a, a little surprise in store. So, catch you on the flip side. Yeah, I'm doing quite a lot of net damage with this deck, so uh, yeah, just something to. Uh